12 days after Dorian made landfall as a Category 5 storm in the Bahamas, the area bracing for another round of heavy rain and strong wind from this tropical disturbance. Teams are still searching for hundreds of people. At last check, more than a more than a thousand people still have not been found. And the storm will also hurt the ongoing effort to bring aid to people who are desperate for food and water. Action News Jack's Amber Kriska spoke with a local firefighter who plans to head to the island with supplies this weekend. Those plans now on hold. Even though he lost his home, he says his primary focus to help those in need. This is his neighborhood right here, and this is, we've circled this. This is his home right here. It is destroyed, and everything around all his neighbors' homes destroyed as well. He wants to get there as soon as he can to help his neighbors. They help in disaster, but sometimes firefighters are victims too. It's just devastating. Fireman Ronnie Rose's home in the Bahamas was destroyed, as was his entire neighborhood. We understand since the assessors were there, made it, you know, identified as a disaster area and 100% loss that uh, we, we kind of just need to get there. It's a job where you put other people first. Roth is more concerned about his neighbors than he is his own home. The needs of the people that are working there and the needs of the community, what we can do for the people that are there and bring back as many as we can as well. Fireman Roth had plans to fly out to the Bahamas this weekend. We're going to load supplies on the plane tomorrow and uh, we're going to head out 6 a.m. Sunday morning. But a storm in the tropics has put things on hold. Still going to be prepared to go, but it, it looks like about a 90% chance that we will not be able to go. At least for this weekend. There's a lot of help to come. We will get there and we hope to keep going back over and over. Roth says he will get there as soon as he can to help. Amber Kriska, CBS 47 Action News, Jax.